Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back your lovely faces to a brand new video here on the channel. There's no lights today because it's absolutely gloriously sunshine down here in the South Wales. So the windows and the curtains and everything is open. So we can get some natural light in here and basically not cook under the lights. But today we are going to be talking about Vogue. They decided to do a little update on their little Amber Heard story that Glamour did last year with them. And this is it. This is the title as well. AH is finally getting public support. What took everyone so long? She's getting public support, is she? That's new to me. I don't know that, did you? Never even heard of it. When you see, you know, it's got public support and everything else, it's like, well, who's doing it? Oh, do you mean the 12 people at the Cannes Film Festival who wore t-shirts? Which we're going to take a look at in a little bit in this video, you know? There's so many things going on. He just wants to make you laugh and just be like, oh my god, you really need, you really need just to stop it. But we're going to go on. As the feverish momentum surrounding Depp VAH slows, people are thinking differently about the way it played out. In August 2022, Glamour first published this investigation, which explores how the tide of public opinion was slowly, but surely, beginning to shift in favour of Amber, following Johnny Depp successfully suing her for defamation in June of last year. Hmm. Public opinion is slowly, surely going over to her. No, it's not. No way. <laughs> the response was alarming. Our social media accounts were dominated by those who wanted to level further this at her. Since then, the public discourse surrounding AH and Depp has reached fever pitch, with much of the controversy surrounding Depp's inclusion at the Cannes Film Festival this year. Now, what's wrong with that uh, first part there? Our social media accounts were dominated by those who wanted to level further this at her. So what about all the horrible, horrible things said about Johnny Depp and his fans by her fans? No, don't want to bring that up. You don't want to bring up where literally her fans were asking people to go and self-delete and do horrible things to people. And these people were also as well the ones who supported her, or still support her, by the way, are looking for Johnny Depp fans who have said that they're victims and had bad relationships themselves. They were looking for their ex-partners just to drag them through it as well. What kind of sick bunch of people do that? Amber Heard fans, that's who. It's just sad to see, you know, that these people thought, you know what? You said you're a victim. I'm going to find the, vic the person who made you that way. I'm going to laugh with them. I'm going to congratulate them. Does that sound like someone who would support a victim? No, it doesn't. Because they're sick bitches. That's what they are, literally. But it does carry on. The festival opened with Johnny Depp's new film, Jean du Barry, which received a seven-minute standing ovation. In response, hashtag can you not trended on Twitter, with many of AH supporters accusing Khan of rewarding this against women in reference to the UK civil trial, which found that Johnny Depp had done this. Again, he f the judge favoured the newspaper, basically saying, well, I believe what the paper wrote. That is literally it. Not that, oh, you, I believe that you were this. No. Again, people don't want to point that out because they're like, nope, the UK trial is end-all to everything. No, it's not. Like I said, previous videos... The judge was connected to Amber. That's enough. That's all you need to know. Conflict of interest. His son works for the person Johnny Depp was suing. Of course he's going to go in her favour with the with the, uh, with the press. He doesn't want his little boy, doesn't want his little angel to be uh, jobless, did he? No. But again, no, there's a lot more. His partner who uh, went to meals and dinners. With Amber, by the way. She was a speaker and everything else. She was there because of one woman who happened to be the wife of the ex-wife of the judge who wrote the book with Judge Nicole. Literally. It's like a massive orgy of people. They were all just involved with it. Over the weekend, Saturday the 20th of May, the cast of Lure Ravisment took to the stage ahead of this screening with many wearing t-shirts that read, I stand with A.H. Yeah, about 12 of them. And about six of them Looked like they didn't want to be there just to do that. Those people were there to, you know, right, we're here to promote our film. This is what we made. But they're like, no, we stand with her. Again, to me, those people, if they support her this long after the trial, 
to me, that just proves that they're probably the same as her. They've probably done things like her in the past. They've probably blamed men for a lot of stuff when nothing actually happened. And they probably turned out to be horrible to their partners as well. That's my opinion. Not everyone's opinion. But you know, it's kind of funny when you got to put a disclaimer saying that's my opinion. And because people will just get in a, in a tizzy fit and be like, oh my God, how dare they say that about me? Again, they like to argue. I like to uh, just shower them with facts because they don't like it. When you give them a actual substantial fact as well, they just look at you and go, oh, well, you're a rich white man. That's what they always do. Johnny Depp's rich. He's white. Blah, 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 blah. Because they have nothing else to give, which I think is actually really funny. But that's what we got, though. And at the end, as you can see by there, where, you know, is public opinion finally shifting? No, it's not. And now this part here is the one that gets me. And what do attitudes to Amber Heard say about society's attitude towards victimhood in general? Now, victimhood in general. All these people, they're saying literally, oh, this is how society thinks about victims. They don't like victims. They blame victims. They do this to victims. All of these people have gone against Johnny Depp, a victim who was legally found to be the victim while she was the horrible person in the relationship. Media, they know that, but the media are not going to tell people because literally they just want everyone to be like, oh, please watch us, please watch us. We're not going to give you the truth, but at least you can watch us, yeah? We'll give you something that you want to hear. Society's attitude, no, can't do it. We're going to blame the victim for everything. We're going to scream and shout about Johnny Depp. Like I said earlier as well, we're going to look for victims who support Johnny Depp and we're going to literally have a go at them. That's society's attitude towards real victims. Again, Amber Heard is not a real victim. Ones who support her, they seem to be horrible people like her. They all do. They seem to say some of the most horriblest, nastiest shit on Twitter. But it does make me laugh and chuckle because... If you were face-to-face -face with them, they wouldn't say anything because they're too much of a coward. Because they hide behind a keyboard. That's why they do it. Because if you notice as well, a lot of them, they don't tell people their real name. They haven't got a real photo of them. They haven't got anything. You know, and it's, I just find that really, really funny. It's, it's interesting, I think, is the main uh, topic for that. But that's going to be a video for another time, ladies and gentlemen. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell for future updates, and I'll see each and every one of you soon.